right, we got a generic Phantom Knight build. Honestly, this hand is pretty weird of a hand to start off with, but we're going to do our best to do something with it. Rota into the Torn Scales is really going to get us started. Using that Chukunoko, we're going to be able to special summon it using the Torn Scales ability. Next up, we're going to be going into our boy, Chinubi, the Ebon Angel. Ebon Angel effect is going to bring Burning Abyss back out. And then we're going to go into our ace monster, the Rusty Bardish. Um, this is going to also special summon the angel. And then we're also going to use that effect of Torn Scale to get the Phantom Knight's wing out. Use the effect of our trap card to get rid of an ancient cloak. Torn Scale is going to return. Bring the, the rag, the silent boots. We're going to go into an Appaloza here. As well as have uh, one more trap card, in, or we're going to grab our rank up spell. And we're going to go into Fusion Destiny here, going into uh, Destiny Hero Blazing or Phoenix Enforcer. That's going to be our end board, leaving us with possible. Um, one, two, a lot of interruptions. He's going to summon Fenrir. We're going to automatically fog blade this just so we don't see that residual effect. And also he doesn't get the add off. But it looks like our opponent is playing purely. So he's going to try to play through all of our Appaloza interruptions here. So of course we're going to use our first one there. He has a, another one in hand. We're going to use another Appaloza here. Appaloza does run house against Purely, and you'll see that here. They're going to go into a Nixies monster here. And it looks like Slacker Magician is just the card he needed. But we're going to pop our Destiny Hero, but he does have that card in hand to stop us. Now it looks like for some reason he's going to stop his attack as well. And he's going to realize he's going to try to rank up to Zeus. But he doesn't realize that he didn't finish the attack, so he surrenders there. We got an interesting hand in our uh, for ourselves. Having to summon the danger, Jackalope is a normal to get the Kake Mucha Knight out. And that's going to be able to get us into our Avon Angel. Avon Angel effect is going to simply bring out the Burning Abyss combo. He has an Ash Blossom. But luckily for us, we have that called by to stop the Ash Blossom, so we will be able to continue. Honestly, our hand was pretty lackluster having to summon the Danger Jackalope as a normal, as well as having that Destiny Hero Dasher in hand, which is a one of, so we shouldn't really be seeing that card very often, but looks like we are. There's our Rusty Bardish. We're gonna bring out Ebon Angel, and we're gonna send Ragged Gloves. We're gonna grab the trap card. And we are going to get ourselves an Ancient Cloak. We're going to get the Silent Boots. Silent Boots effect is we're going to use Silent Boots plus the Ebon Angel to go into Verte. In Verte effect, we're going to get out our Phoenix Enforcer as well as we're going to set to. Now this leaves us only with two pieces of interruption plus a protection effect. So let's see what our opponent on. Looks like our opponent on is playing La Evil Twin Runic. An interesting combo of cards, but honestly, all I'm seeing is the connection of the two level twos here. So I know it's going to be a struggle, but I have to unfortunately let him get that Runic spell. He also revealed the Sprite Jet, meaning I know he's in a Sprite Engine. Now he gets the Sprite Carrot, meaning both of our face down cards are negated while that Carrot's on the field. But it looks like he's going to get greedy here. It doesn't look like he's playing the Beaver or any of those. He's playing a, a pure Evil Twin Sprite Runic Package. There's the Gigantic Sprite, and this is when we pop it. And we're also going to call by, but our opponent doesn't get a chance, and he surrenders. Another turn one game. This is a very interesting hand. 
We're gonna just open up Fusion Destiny and we're gonna end our turn here. Honestly, we are saving uh, our cards because next turn we will be able to have a really nasty combo on our hands. For some reason, he imperms me here. So I decide to just destroy myself and get ready for it for the next round. Looks like my opponent has also revealed he is playing a Labyrinth deck. Luckily for us, we did open up one Ash Blossom. All right, turn two, he has three cards in hand. Our Destiny Hero returns. And our opponent's gonna activate that Welcome Labyrinth. We're gonna Ash Blossom it right away. And let's see what else our opponent can do. He ends his turn there. We're gonna also destroy that one card face down. It was another Labyrinth card. Luckily for us, we got rid of it. Now our hand is mediocre at best. But with that Destiny Hero Denier and Grave, we two, we have two level threes to pop off and get our combos going. I'm also going to recycle that Destiny Hero Dasher just because. And we're also going to get Ebon Angel out and start running through our um, Burning Abyss combo. Bringing back the Ebon Angel. It looks like our opponent has a Nibiru. I'm going to save my Destiny Hero. Because I can. Meaning he only gave my Destiny, uh, my token 500 attack. He knows I can continue going off, so he ends his turn there. This is an excellent hand we have here. Sewer Guide plus two dangers is a very excellent hand, but he does have a slight interruption, which is going to mess with our plans a bit. Uh, I'm going to set the trap just so we don't accidentally mill it, but we do hit the Silent Boots, which is unfortunate. Um, I would much rather have hit the, um, the other danger card in my hand. There's Ebon Angel. We're going to start the Burning Abyss line. Get into our Phantom Knight Bardiche. With this. What is I'm trying to figure out what I did next. I believe what I did is I sent the Yep, I sent the Torn Scales to get the Torn Scales activation off. And now I hit the Trikonoko and I activate the Torn Scales ability from the grave. And I'm going to mill that Ancient Cloak and the Ragged Gloves. This is where we're going to get one of our first negates out. This card recently just came off the ban list. An excellent card. And as well as we're going to banish our Ancient Cloak. Getting the rat, the Stained Greaves. And we're going to use that effect to bring out a rank 4. Our Time Thief Redoer. Betting another card. We have a lot of reactions here. We have a negate, a pop, and we also have uh, another pop. This is this card is super good. We're going to instantly use our negate here. We're going to draw a card from it as well. We draw into the Ash Blossom, which is super cool. This is a funny interaction. He has the Psychic Blade, but since I had more attack, it doesn't matter. And that's where the game's going to end. A little bit different here, but we're going to be going second. He did open up with a maxi. Very nice to start off a game. Looks like our opponent is playing Trap Tricks. An interesting matchup we got here. Funny is maxi for maxi. Not a bad, not a bad trade off. Also drawing off the top of the deck and Ass Blossom, so he won't be able to maxi us. Very nice little interaction we set ourselves up for. Let's see what's going to go first. We're going to summon the Ancient Cloak, use the Kage Mucha Knight, and then it looks like our opponent is playing a little bit of Trap Tricks, using the Trap Tricks Trap to set up the Sierra to get a little bit of summoning going on. Goes into the one that banishes. He's going to banish our Kage Mucha Knight, but luckily for us with that top deck, we draw a really insane trap card. 
getting us into a level four, but since I didn't increase the level, we can continue with our Ebon Angel lines here. We're gonna special summon the one from hand and we're gonna continue going off. Here's our Rusty Bardiche. We're gonna send Ragged Gloves as well as use the effect of Ragged Gloves to get the Silent Hand and the Torn Scale into rotation. We're gonna set ourselves up for the next oh actually we're gonna use the effect of our guy in graveyard to now go into the level four strategy as well as get a level three out destroying the face down card we do know about as well as we're gonna be going into two level four exceeds our first one we're gonna be choosing is our time thief for doer as a little bit of interaction just in case this move goes south and our next one is going to be Raiders Knight Raiders Knight has this handy dandy ability that lets you get an OTK pretty much whenever you want with the Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon getting our attack points all the way up to 9600 next up we're going to get that final set of interaction and our opponent knows his game is sealed and he's going to surrender all right, looks like this is the final game on our hands. Let's see what we got. Reinforce the army is going to get that silent boots into rotation, meaning we're going to be guaranteed a little special combo at the end of our move. We're going to special summon using the, the danger and the torn scales, getting into our Ebon Angel to set up our Ebon Angel line. Ebon Angel is going to then bring out the, the Burning Abyss combo. Then Rusty Knight Bardiche. With this, we're also going to bring back the Ebon Angel, but it looks like our opponent doesn't want that to happen, so he's going to use a Ghost Spell on it. Honestly, not the biggest thing, but we'll continue going off just as planned. We're going to use a Trap just to get another piece of interaction, and our opponent, so for some reason, sees the Negate and chooses to surrender there. All right, guys, so this is the deck I am playing in today's video. Um, a lot of really generic level three cards that are just insanely good, as well as I decided since the current uh, meta of Yu-Gi-Oh is a little bit more insane than what it was in the beginning, I threw in a Destiny Hero Destroyer. This card is super good with this deck. You have so many times where you just have some extra materials lying around. And this all it takes for Verite is two effect monsters. Um, significant cards. Honestly, Tour Guide is an easy starter of the combo. But honestly, what you really want to open up with is Torn Scales and any danger card. That's right. If you open up any danger card in Torn Scales, you're guaranteed two monsters on the board. As well as initiative with your Phantom Knight Banishments. You're just playing the called buys as a way of getting rid of the max C as well as the ash blossoms as well. You could be throwing a cross out in here as another point of interruval. Uh, new cards that were recently banned off the ban list is number 75. This card is a level three negate. You can honestly play this card, get two negates, which is super insane. There's not really a matchup where Zeus is available, so I didn't really put in the extra deck, but he's always there as well. But these are the decks. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.